Oh, hello. I'm William Elder from the obscure internet drama. Laugh, you bastards. But I'd like to talk to you about something a little funnier right now. Teen pregnancy. According to the CDC, roughly 1,100 teens give birth every day. Christians would have you believe that teaching kids about sex causes them to have sex. But places like Abilene, Texas have shown us that not teaching kids about sex causes them to have sex. Either way, teens are going to have sex, and a lot of them are going to get pregnant. And what's worse is that teen pregnancies cost U.S. taxpayers roughly $9 billion a year. So please, do us all a favor, and have your teens spayed and neutered. Thanks. Oh, and actually, you know what? While you're at it, why don't you get yourself done, too? The planet's a little crowded as is. Isn't it time we all said seven billion miracles is enough? Thank you, and remember to care, you bastards. People who can't handle marijuana. Where's my bike? Just don't see it. What's this doing here? Guess I'm walking home. You think you're real goddamn smart, don't you? Real goddamn smart. You know, I got my harpy of an ex-wife after me to watch my useless kids and pissing razor blades. My chief rents my interrogation room out to a laundromat. And now this? I hate fucking mimes. I got four hookers and a midget shot to shit in the middle of rush hour. Nobody hears a fucking thing. You and I both know that you're the only mug in this town who can pull that off. Where were you at 5 p.m.? Yeah, I thought that'd be your answer. O'Malley! This is Detective O'Malley. How you doing? If we don't like your answers, he's gonna throw this boiling coffee in your face. You don't think he'll do it? He did some bastard eight-year-old earlier today. Yeah, little shit that he can pirate Whitney Houston's greatest hits. You're lucky you just murdered somebody. Well, you got one more chance. You better give us an answer. Your answer better be good. Where were you at 5 p.m. today? Where were you, huh? Try to be nice to some people. Some people just don't fucking listen. O'Malley Dowson. Uh, I don't think that's gonna work, boss. What? Uh, I mean, he's stuck in a boss. Are you shitting me? No, look at him! It's an act, you dipshit, hit it! It's not gonna do anything! God damn it, this is the way it always goes. They don't answer our questions and you throw boiling fucking shitty coffee in their goddamn face. Well, I mean, you probably can't even hear the questions. Look at him, he's in a box. It's hard for me to hear shit when I'm in a box. Now you're putting fucking boxes on your goddamn head? Give me that goddamn coffee. Damn, he didn't make a noise. Now that's commitment. Huh, Christ. You know, just plant some crack on him and wrap this up. I gotta go home and watch Desperate Housewives. Fuck. People who can handle. Uh, magic mushrooms. <laughs>
Looks like Johnny and his sweetheart are having a night out on the town. They both just graduated from high school and they can't wait to move on up. Just look at them. Yes. Hmm. Right. I bet you're wondering why they're so excited. Well, they've just been accepted to college. Yes, just like baseball, Taco Tuesday, and crippling credit card debt, attending university is an integral part of the American experience. The modern university has three main purposes. To provide a revenue base for a football team. To provide the finest third-rate daycare federally guaranteed loads can buy. And of course, to provide a revenue base for a football team. Of course, such a wondrous paradise can't be free, whether you're ludicrously wealthy or merely obscenely wealthy. The modern American university has been crafted with you in mind. But what if I lack the foresight to be born rich, you ask? Simple. In exchange for you and your parents' future financial security, you too can have a chance to cheer on your football team using your mandatory season passes. Yes, just like the herpes you'll catch freshman year, your student loan payments will remind you of how great life could be had you had thought things through. But how will my college use my parents' money? Well, it's simple, little Johnny. You see, 25% goes to administrative pay. 20% goes to swimming pools the public can't use and other questionable athletics. 20% goes to a bureaucracy to publish forms to fill out. And of course, 30% goes to a second bureaucracy to handle forms created by the previously mentioned bureaucracy. Oh, and I think 5% goes to um, liberal arts or something. But wait! You interrupt once again. I find the liberal arts bizarre and vaguely homosexual. Why should 5% of my tuition go to them? Well, it's the same reason you're going to college in the first place. It's because shut the hell up and stop asking questions. Just do as you're told like everyone else. People who can handle. <laughs> I'm so sorry, God. <laughs> you are Chicky Odag! Last fortnight, Barbara and I had a go at the pub. Yes, we were so pissed. She nearly knocked me over on my arse. the other day. Oh, really? Yes. I asked him for a fag and that wanker took off. Oh, Mine, dude. <laughs> Why didn't you give him the... Do the accent! Did you give him the old slap and tickle, did you? Oh. Well, I guess when I asked him for a fag, there was a royal Say, would you ladies care to hear my American accent? No. no. That would be wonderful. <clears throat> well, hey there, pilgrim. Would you pass me the peas? <laughs> Every 
fucking day. Dude, we can't do a damn thing with him. So temperamental. What happened to you? I was in a sketch with a bunch of fucking wankers. Jesus, will you use the bomb? You had to. Watching you try and do this is like an ice pick in my fucking nutsack or something. I don't know. You just fucking Jesus. Right? In that? Yeah? Mm hmm? Yeah. Idiot. Rectal prolapse. <laughs>